Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, that opponent was defeated by the Flame Tongue Totem in my hand that I hadn't played yet and gave no indication of playing. So, let's see if I can win any more games without doing anything. Or by doing things, because frankly that's more interesting. Four wins, one loss. This is, sadly, one of the top two or three runs I've had in the last 15 or so. The same period in which... I didn't take a mage right in the beginning, because it wasn't one of my... Because I go with the classes I've played the least recently, as a rule. And then, after the first couple of runs with the expansion, I just never had a chance to take mage again. So I've still not yet played a mage at all since Gadgetan came into the arena. But, uh, these are not starting hand-friendly cards. Go away, find me something cheap. And of course, here come all this expensive junk. Uh, nope. Out of three cards, I cannot complain about that distribution. A lightning bolt is potentially butt saving, and a piece of three cost minion. And then I drew that. Yeah, it worked for me last game. Ooh, that's pretty annoying, actually. I mean, not really a big deal, just kind of annoying. So, you gotta ask yourself, you wanna kill that healing totem and take no damage, or kill the one one? Okay. Guess you didn't have to ask yourself for long. Elemental destruction. I'll just cast that right now. Screw myself like I do every time I'm screwing myself with that thing. She fights pretty well against the stuff that is currently in play. My opponent's already used his blood for Icker. We hope he doesn't have another one. The, the last one was, like, okay. Like, it was annoying, but not important at all. Blood for Ickering, again, to take out this guy's bubble, would actually suck. Speaking of suck... Okay. Okay. <sighs> Remember... Game goes longer than this, I don't need to do that right now. A spell damage totem would be pretty good, though, I think. Yeah, that's not as good. Um, I think I may want a lightning bolt this guy. So then I can't play him next turn. I'm not going to be able to do much anyway. I'm not going to have any guys alive by then. Getting rid of the Yeti would be pretty good. It's more important. I haven't done any damage yet, so his ability doesn't matter. I guess I should probably Join take out God. the Yeti. I get a spare part that way. Reversing switch. Making her a 1-3, not terribly useful. Do I want to waste an Earth Shock on a 2-1? You know what? I'm going to. Because the 2-3 takes out my 1-1 one, one with no effort. This seems like it has a better army position. And I do have a fair amount of things for destroying stuff, including this stupid thing. Oh, that guy needs to die, and it's going to be harder now. Awesome. I forgot I had this guy in my hand, too. Ah, this is Overload, so if I play this... I'm making a mistake. Leaving that guy alive is going to be terrible. I could Storm Rack and kill him, which would save me a lot of future pain. He's giving plus two, plus two at the end of each turn for everything. Plus, he's alive. Is that excessive? Because this guy is better for the long term, but I can't play him right now. I wonder. This guy has a theoretical chance to like get rid of that, but without I gotta do, that. I gotta do this. Even though I'm just screwing myself even more. And I can't even play a totem with this. That that guy is really dangerous though. Like as far as arena cards go, he's pretty goddamn strong. Next turn I will be able to do crap. I have all these fives in my hand I can't use. I have a useless 1-1 one, one in play. Go me. I want you to play whatever got the buff there. It's going to be gigantic. 
should be proud of me, though. I didn't go overboard and elemental destruction him, even though that guy really, really had to die. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. That is monstrously huge and bad. Jade Lightning would knock him down to half. Hooray. God damn it. I mean, ne next turn I play this guy, I have seven mana, I have two mana left after game. It's not going to be able to get rid of my God damn it. Wow, is that rough. Having a damaged guy might even help my opponent, but if it does, then he could just go 1-1 one, one with it anyway. But I do so much damage. This, this is a 1 in 3 chance to be a taunt to him. If it's not a taunt to him, it's not very useful. Man. Wow, this sucks. That guy with the plus two plus two is sick. Knocking him down to half and getting a one one isn't really doing a whole lot for me. Neither is making a totem, especially if it's not a taunt totem. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. It is a taunt totem. I mean my opponent's probably just gonna blow it up, but Ray? I have like one hex in here, don't I? Remember now. Scorner was a hex, but I may have not chosen it. Because a hex would be really good for getting rid of that guy. Like, that would be an ideal draw. Same. So. Casting minions is going to be hard for him. Oh my god. That's not going to be hard, because now he can take out my taunt and do a lot of damage to me. Or he's just going to save that, because it's not a threat. That's interesting. That does give me more time to deal with it, though. Um. That's plus that. It's not enough. Still so gonna stick the plan of playing this guy. Wow, those are not what I wanted right now. I don't have claws right now. If I take claws, I don't have deadly poison. I'm gonna take through to the claw because it's pretty solid, but like, is that not what I needed right now? Talk to him again. Spell damage to him could be pretty good if it stays around. Oh, he, my guy's a 5-3. He can be killed by the axe. That's terrible. I'm thinking of that. But, I mean, I still need to play him because I'm hoping to get the other. You have another Gadgeteer? You lucky bastard. Like, it, it is common. In fact, those guys are common. But, like, god damn it. Okay. Some tough choices. Um... How apocalyptic do I want to go? Because I could play a Flame Tongue Totem, do 5 damage to this guy, and then Elemental Destruction and kill everything. This would also just do 5 damage to him. I really want them both to be dead, but I'm really locking them out of a lot of stuff. I can Elemental Destruction and still play him, potentially, not if I do the other thing. Destruction. It's going to do 5 or 6 damage to this guy, so I still need 2 or 3 damage to him. Do that and this, then wasting my guy, although I could do this afterwards. There had to have been a smarter way to do that. I can't do crap next turn, although actually I can play this guy. Not the, this guy or that, so I'm not totally up shit creek, but my health is lower, my opponent has an axe. That was very expensive when you factor in the mana for the next turn. Those plus two, those grimy gadgeteers are death, though. Death. Speaking of death, I'm going to get murdered in no time. I'm going to take out that bubble while I can, though. The ability to inflict one damage on my opponent is insignificant compared to getting rid of that bubble, just in case. Just in case I'm still alive in two turns. I, why do I never get, like, I was wishing I could get, like, a whole bunch of grimy gadgeteers in the arena. For the Warrior. You had two grimy gadgeteers... Like, Dark Iron, Kokron Elite, his deck is like, 
insanely better. Lucky ass bastard. Okay, um, I I don't see how I'm not dead. I mean, I could play this guy with taunt and I would protect me against some stuff, but <coughs> I'd not leave enough mana to do light jade lightning and crackle. I don't think this could possibly work out to not be me dying. I had like a long time to think about it, or if I knew what the crackle was going to roll, maybe. But this guy alone killed me. Like I basically need a taunt totem to have a chance to survive. Spell damage totem would potentially give me more damage. So it's going to be healing. No, it's going to be that piece of crap. Does nothing for me. Um. Yeah, no, I just, I cannot even survive at this point. I need the Crackle to one-shot this guy. At least five. Nope, that is not at least five. I play this, but that's not enough. I guess I can flip this guy and still die. It, it, it's irrelevant. Because he has enough damage to take out the bear and still have the tank left to attack. Or the other way around. If I'd gotten a taunt totem or a spell damage totem, or actually if I just rolled a five on that crackle, I may have been able to survive the turn. I would have still been screwed. But that, those were the best chances I had. I was reliant on RNG, which is crap, so. Okay, well now it's sudden death. I want to make this an actually good run. I need to get at least one more win. I keep getting druid cards. Like, I'm, I know how it's happening, because I'm discovering cards that can be from other classes, but it's just, I still find it weird that I'm up to nine already druid cards playing no druid decks. But yeah, I need to win this one, so I can call this a really, an actually good run, to start to dig my average back out of the sewer, this set. More likely, though, I'm going to lose and just be stuck at four wins. I need a whole lot of four wins to balance out the crappy twos and ones I've had. Such, such bad runs. And a lot of them were like bad rows. Some of them were bad play. But there's also a chunk of them where I don't have a good explanation, and that's actually worse. Teranda! I just have not been performing adequately lately. First turn finders keepers, I guess. Jade Spirit Brewmaster combo. I'm not playing anything for a long time if I'm going for that, though. I have a coin. It's probably not going to make it. Oh, man. Ah, I don't know. How many Brewmasters do I have? Two or one? I think I've got two. So much stuff. I don't think I want early game crackle, even though it could help me control the pace. Let's let's just go with the standard things I can play early on strategy. Instead of trying for weird stuff. Hey, that's pretty snazzy. Although Finders Keepers has overload, so if I play that I would have to coin out whatever I want to play next turn. This is against a priest, you know what? I am gonna coin out one of these guys and see if I can just go nuts and win. If she doesn't have a second turn play that can deal with this, I might just play the second one. I might just play the second one and go for the complete obliteration, like, mega win. She doesn't have the forces out there. There is potential that I could drop a flame tongue totem in between them and do approximately one what's-her-face worth of damage. Oh my god. This person is going to rage so hard. Yep. I'm not going to complain about that particular surrender. As I was, like, trying to discover a damage card to... Okay, well, I got an incredibly bullshit draw, and my opponent had a slightly slow draw, and my draw was incredibly bullshit, so for all the 
bad RNG that I've had to complain about, that one counters some of it pretty hard. Certainly that certainly that accounts for like the last game, I think. That was insane. So don't think we're gonna see that again, but I can try for even more wins in what has turned out to actually be a good run for once. Next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or on your touch screen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touch screen is not recommended. We now stream D&D 5th Edition Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Details at demonact.com slash smh. Come join us live.